Hi, so welcome to the third part of the choreo. Um, this is my favorite part because I think the contrast between the smooth and sharp movements is really beautiful and I think it goes really nice with the music. So I hope you like this part as much as I like the part and let's go, <laughs> let's get started. So the last time, the last movement we did was the Mardi Pocket Arms and turn. So here we place our hands in a triangle shape in the haze of the chest and we place in this pose just first position on the foot and just the hands here. Here what we are going to do is that we are going to do a maja. We are going to do four majas, a really big and smooth mayas and we are going to start with the right hip so the count one and then two three and four there are only four mayas and while we are doing that we are going to grab our hands and go down with a triangle pose or the triangle shape to our belly button or to our lower belly, okay? Whatever that feels comfortable for you. Um, so the idea is to do the mayas, but we are directing our hands slowly to the floor or to the belly actually. And here we are going to do a reverse floreo, the one that is outside to inside. We are going to place our hands or our arms in table position, but in a closed table position. Not so open like the ATS table position, just a little bit closer. The hands are going to be a little bit closer. Um, but the shoulders and elbows are going to be really high. Um, so, boom. While we are doing that, we are going to place our left leg to the left side and we are going to do a body weight. So it is something like this. And a one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Yeah. So six and seven are going to be hip drops with my left hip. So I'm going to do hip drop, hip drop. We are going to point the 11, if we have a clock on the floor, we are going to point with our hip the 11th and then the 10th. So it's going to be something like this. Three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and in the count N and eight, we are going to turn again. What is going to happen with our body? We're going to face like in a dance angle, but in an inverted dance angle. So our hips are going to point almost the diagonal, almost, not the diagonal, almost the diagonal, and our chest is going to point to the front. So again, of course, this is a front on plane, we're going to do the majas just watching the public or watching the mirror or watching the front of you. We're not going to do any change here. We're going to do the four counts. One, two, three, four. We're going to do the body weight at the floreo facing the dice, the inverted dice dance angle, and then the drops. And six and seven. Another thing that I really like to add in this part is a reverse while we are grabbing our hands before doing this. A reverse where we are grabbing our hands and doing the Marty Pocket. If you want, you can do the reverse if you feel comfortable with. And a head slide while I'm doing the magic. I love to. Um, grab my hand, <laughs> grab my head, sorry, and do the slides in the same direction as my hip is moving. So if I'm starting with the right hip, I'm going to start my head slide to the right. 
So one and two and three and four. You're gonna also add um, like eyes movement. Like if you are dancing in the oriental dance, you can add like eyes and like funny and cute um, face expression if you want. If you don't, you can just look to the front. The important thing is that you need to do the mayas like really big and if you're going to add the head slide, you need to do the head slide as big as possible and try not to move your shoulders. So again, let's start from the third and the Marty pocket. So reverse, Marty pocket and turn. Triangle and one and two and three and four, floreo, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, turn. Where we are turning, we are going to leave our hands to the ceiling, and we are going to place our hands together. Here, we are going to do four sharp movements in four counts. I'm going to explain the sharp movements without the arms. So you can place your foot in first position parallel, um, or you can place your foot in fifth position or showgirl position. So here, what we are going to do is that we are going to drop the right hip and drop, and then lift your right hip, then contract your lower belly, and then lift your chest. This is going to happen in four counts. So, and one, and two, and three, and four. Let's do that a few times in um, every time we're going to do this, we're going to do, we're going to do it at faster. So we can get to the speed that we want in the music. So one and two and three and four again, and drop and lift and contract and lift and drop and lift and contract and lift faster one two three four and one and two and three and four and one two three four one two three four what i recommend you here is not to collapse with the chest while you are contracting the lower belly because or the lower abdominals because it is going to look something like this yeah, that doesn't look really nice. So um, try to lift your chest as much as, much as you can to while well, you are contracting the lower abdominals. One, and you can breathe. Two, to help the movement. And we are going to use the muscles of the back to do the lift of the chest. What we are not going to use is our ribs. So don't do this. Okay, just lift your chest with your back muscles. So your arms are going to be here and you're going to do the sharp movements. And one, and two, and three, and four. Here, we are going to do the basic walking movement. We are going to place our hands on the back. Then we are going to place our hands on the shoulders, but in the front area, and then we are going to place our hands in cabaret position. So, one and two. This is going to happen really fast. So the counts are one and two. Let's do everything together. So, from the Mardi pocket movement. And reverse, Mardi pocket, Third triangle and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, okay, and seven, and eight. I'm going to do the seven and eight. We are going here after the third, we are going to face the left diagonal. After the walking hands, where my hands are going to loop to the, to the, to the ceiling, okay, 
we are going to face the front with a figure eight but with my upper body so we're going to start the figure eight with my upper body to the left side so it's going to be something like this you can place your foot you can step to change the direction of your body and then turn your hands lift your elbows and do the figure eight or the name is also side to side so you can do the side to side and one and two just two you're going to lift your wrist like imagine that you, you want to like punch something with your wrist and then with your rib sorry and then going down and changing the weight of your shoulders so here i have my right shoulder lifted then i change and lift my left shoulder maybe it's not the shoulders it is more about the position or the level that they have so it is something like this so try not to do this because you're going to erase your neck the idea is to have the shoulders down when we are going to change the level between them to the figure eight you can also imagine that you are doing a figure eight and you have a pencil here you want to draw uh, infinite or a figure eight an horizontal figure eight okay <laughs> so again and from the walking hands boom 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 seven and eight what is going to happen with our hands is or with our arms is really natural something like that or a way of saying this is that we are going to turn our hands they are going to face the floor and then we are going to release the tension in the opposite side where my body is going so for example if i'm going to the left side i'm going to release the tension in the elbow in the right elbow if i'm going to the right side i'm going to release the tension in the left elbow if i'm going to the left side i'm going to strain my left arm releasing my right elbow and if i'm going to the right side i'm going to strain my right arm and release the tension in the left elbow we're going to do left and right left right left right okay so again from the Marty pocket five six seven eight and one turn one two three four and five six seven eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight let's do that with music i think it has more sense with the music But the idea is to practice this a lot 
so you can master this. So don't worry, you can do this. Let's do everything together, just to remember the choreo, without music. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that with music. By chance of me You're a shark and I'm swimming My heart's still thumb as I bleed, I know your friends come sniffing triangles are my favorite shape. Three points where two lines meet. Toe to toe, back to back, let's go. My love is very late. Till morning comes. Hey! So I hope you're having a great time. So let's finish this part. Um, so here you finish doing the figure eight with your upper body or the side to side. We're going to do a reverse and we are going to move only our four arms to the shoulders. So it's going to be a rotation of all four arms from outside to inside, doing a reverse. If you don't want to do the reverse, you can only do the arms. Here, we are going to do the horglass or the half horglass movement. So I'm going to explain this with my mirror. So one, we are going to wait. This is like a pose, so you can turn a little bit as your money tomorrow or do whatever you want here. Maybe a smile, maybe do like a little wingo. I don't know, it looks, maybe not a wingo because, well, I don't know how it looks for you, <laughs> but I don't look like really nice in a wingo even. <laughs> so don't worry, um, whatever you want here. And then we are going to do the horror glass movement. We are going to grab our arms and place the arms or the hands washing our body, then we are going to do the circle and we are going to place our hands in the front. So it's going to do something like this. Circle, 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 front. So going down, then going front, we're going to do this in the mirror, going front, then going back, then turning our hands going front and place the arms in the chest high. So going down, going to the front, going to the back, changing your hands, going to the front and going to your neck. Again, one, two, three, four and place. And one, two, three, four, and place. I'm going to do this in the front. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, 
and A. It's not that slow, but it's for us to practice. One, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that in the um, with the whole combo, the whole second part of the choreo. So from the triangle, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and turn A, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, wait, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Again, and one, two, sorry, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. So, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. You can focus on the arms or you can add the isolation. With the isolation, we are going to do a hip circle or an omi. Whatever that feels comfortable for you. You can avoid doing the omi or you can add the omi. The direction of the omi is the one that you like the most because the idea is to have this movement really slow, softly and easy to be focusing the entire, the entire attention to our arms because I know this movement tend to be kind of confusing maybe, but whatever you feel comfortable with. Let's try the whole choreo with music. Good. So to wrap all the second part, what we are going to do is after the whole glass, when we where hands are placed here, we are going to do head slice really fast, dun dun dun, and then a chest lift. Boom. Open our arms. Like if the chest is punching our arms to open and show the entire body. So, dun 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 dun, boom. And that's how we finish everything. So, let's do that without music, the whole choreo, and then we can do the choreo again with music. So, remember your position. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. So the last part is not a count, it's more about the percussion of the song, like dun 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 dun, bling, and that's it. <laughs> Let's do that with music. Bye. 
chunks of me You're a shark and I'm swimming My heart still thumps as I bleed And all your friends come sniffing Triangles are my favorite shape Me points where two lines meet Toe to toe back to back Let's desolate. Awesome! So I think I think the main idea is to practice a lot. Um, so you can do everything together and feel comfortable doing it. Um, the music is beautiful. I know you look beautiful too. The choreo is really nice. And well. I hope to see you dancing this choreo. Remember, to, you can ask me questions to my Instagram account if you want, or you can send me your videos and I can send you feedback. Um, and see you on the last class.